Welcome to Two Stroke Diagnostics. This lesson shows a procedure for pressure testing fuel tank, fuel cap, and vent. We will also vacuum test a tank vent. All lessons are taken from the Advanced Sequential Troubleshooting Worksheet provided at the service school. This lesson covers Section F, Fuel Delivery Inspection, Line 1, Check the Integrity of the Fuel Tank, and Line 3, Verify Fuel Vent Operation Both Directions. The fuel delivery system consists of fuel filter, fuel tank and cap, fuel tank vent, fuel lines, and carburetor. During this session we will pressure test the fuel tank, vent, and cap. We will test fuel cap pressure release and vacuum test the fuel tank vent. This is our pressure slice vacuum pump. That's the box it comes in. This is what it looks like outside the box. The clear fuel line comes with the pump. Notice our gauge swivels for convenience. This is our control valve currently set for pressure. Now it's set for vacuum. Return to pressure. This is our relief valve for pressure or vacuum. This is the pump that pumps the vacuum or the pressure. This adapter does not come with a kit. You have to procure it locally. I use it to make for quick changes between the different uh, end fittings for different tests. This fittings for the, one, the small line for testing the fuel lines and fuel tank. That's how easy it is to come apart. And that's how easy it is to go together. This is our special liquid for finding leaks liquid soap and water combined it will expose leaks of gaskets and seals very quickly when they're under pressure we will perform test one reason for test one fuel can boil at around 118 degrees fahrenheit this can cause fuel starvation when the fuel tank is sealed it will increase the boiling point of the fuel mix caution Prior to installing the pressure tester, the fuel tank, carburetor, filter, and lines must be purged. We want the carburetor wet, but tank, lines, and filter empty. Always empty the fuel into an appropriate fuel container. Be sure to handle fuel within the appropriate safety guidelines. Test 1. We pressure test the fuel tank, cap, and vent to 7 PSI. For demonstration purposes, we are using a partially disassembled unit strictly for clarity. Remove our return line from our carburetor and our fuel line. We take our green plug from the kit and stick it in the fuel line to seal it. We take our adapter hook to our pump, put it in the fuel line. Note we do not kink the fuel line. We want to make sure that doesn't happen. It will not give you a good reading. Pump set to pressure. Now this can take 30 strokes. It'll take several seconds to pump that thing up. As you can see, ours is gaining pressure but it's going a little slow so let's crank this thing up here alright 7 psi it is holding 7 psi we're good to go test 2 we will test the fuel cap pressure release at 7 psi there's our tank we're still at 7 psi we're gonna grab the cap and turn it one half to three quarters of a turn the pressure must release. If it takes more than three quarters of a turn, it is the wrong fuel cap. Fuel tank vents, a short explanation. Why vent at all? As the unit runs, the carburetor removes fuel from the fuel tank. If the tank isn't vented, it will create a vacuum and fuel starvation. When internal pressure of the fuel tank is low, atmospheric pressure pushes air into the tank to replace the fuel that was used. This check valve or vent is one way. It holds pressure in the tank to increase the boiling point of our fuel. Our metering needle spring is calibrated for this pressure. So just stretching one of those springs or replacing one at random is not a good idea. This vent is a two-way vent. Atmospheric pressure in to replace fuels that's used. Excessive pressure is allowed out. This is used in our chainsaws fuel cap. This fuel cap used on a large portion of our units. They are at different sizes but their function is the same. There is a vent hole. Our vent is housed in this housing here and this filter prevents dirt from getting into the 
vent and causing it to plug. Again, all held hell units, not on chainsaws. Test 3, we vacuum test the tank to check vent operation. Make our cap, sure our cap's closed. Our pump set to vacuum and we hit it a few strokes. Notice the needle move but drops right back. So it is working correctly. If you get your ear close enough, you can hear the vent pulling air and it'll whistle. Remember, if the vent is not working at all, it will lead to a vacuum in the fuel tank which will result in fuel starvation. Now that you have seen it done off the unit, let's pressure test on the unit. We will also see how to check for leaks. Test 1. Pressure test the fuel tank cap and vent to 7 PSI. Take off the return line. Put in our little plug. Take off the fuel line. Put in our adapter for our pump. Make sure the line's not kinked. Set the pump to pressure and attempt to pressurize. Notice we're not picking up any air. We have a leak. We have to find our leak. Get our friend soapy water. Always test your test setup first. The pump, the lines, the connections in it first. Okay, no leak there. No leak there. Do the fuel line, the grommet, the divot, everything in that one shot there. No leak there. Now the cap. And as fast as we put it in, it's coming out. Look at our leak on our cap. So we know our cap is leaking. The fuel cap vent was leaking as you saw. We have to repair any leaks before moving on to test two. Remove the cap. Replace it with a, another cap. Okay, we're set to pressure, and we'll crank on it a little bit. Uh, you can see the needle moving, so it's going to hold some pressure. It's going to take a few strokes here. Our needle is rising slowly. And we got our 7 PSI, so it's good. Pressure, uh, fuel cap pressure release test. Half to three quarters of a turn. Pressure comes off, we have the right fuel cap. As you saw, our unit passed the fuel tank cap and vent pressure test and the fuel cap pressure release test. The unit also passed the vent vacuum test. What if it had not passed? Further leak testing commonly done. We're going to turn our unit upside down to test the uh, tank threads and the cap on that side. Get our friend soapy water. We gotta pressurize that tank some form or fashion. Either you're, somebody's gotta pump it or if it holds a little air, then that's good. Okay, we spray our liquid in there. If it's leaking there, then it's the threads or the cap grommet. If it's not leaking there, the tank may be leaking and you can dunk the tank to find leaks there. This concludes the fuel tank and vent testing. Please view our other two stroke diagnostics videos.